<laughs> Michael Lenny, I'm here today with my uncle, Michael Gavin. Michael's 84 years old. Yeah, Michael. He's going to be 85 next month. We're here today because he's been a victim of solicitor financial elder abuse. Mikey was taken advantage of. His grant monies were taken off him for 10 years. He farmed the lands of his late brother's estate. And the solicitor got the grants. And at closing, he wouldn't give them out to Mikey. Mikey was tricked into farming, minding the animals, and handing over the gross proceeds. And him and his sister, Eileen, I rode over 150,000 for 10 years. Disgraceful! It's not right. We've been protesting outside the solicitor's office, Robert Marin, in uh, Castle Street, Mullingar, for over a year now. We're not getting anywhere because we're outside. It's inside we need to go. Yay! We need to go inside his office. Yay! The state solicitor from Westmead, Peter, Peter Perlty Point Jones, got involved there about six months ago and he wrote a letter to me uncle here and he threatened them not to be peaceful protesting outside that's his right he's got a right to protest yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mikey went to the politicians like we're naive people we thought we'd get help he went to his politician you might have heard of that fella there he fell off his bike a few weeks ago Dennis Stockton now he told Mikey it was against the constitution for him to get involved. I don't know what constitution he's talking about. We went to Robert Troy in Mullingar, he's a Fianna Fáil politician, and Robert Troy said, come to my clinic. But Mike's not sick. It's a bloody solicitors are sick. Sick with greed. <laughs> now we're not gonna tolerate this, I can tell you that right now. We're not gonna put up with this crap. It's not right to be treated like that. A couple of weeks ago, there was people coming around the house in cars, inquiring who was the owner of the house. Now, Mike Ian has a right to live there for the rest of his days per his father's will. They did try and change that. They brought him up here to the High Court three days in a row and tried to get that uh, right taken away from him, but they didn't succeed. My mother got suspicious and she contacted him down in Waterford to find out who's the, whose name the house is in. The house is registered to Robert Marin Solicitor as full owner. Oh, now he's finished administering the estate and robbing his grants and robbing the few pounds he got from the auction. His name should be on that house. Now it's been reported to the Garda Fraud Squad. Waste the time. We went down. We went down to the um, we rang Roscommon, the land registry office down there, and made an appointment for last for next Tuesday to go down and find out why the name is in Robert Marin's solicitor, not, not in the beneficiaries of the estate. And they were on the phone yesterday to me mother saying, Don't come down here. Because I know bloody well when I get down there, we're going to sit in there. And we're not freaking leaving till they do it right. Yeah. Well, it's great to be here today. Amongst all you like-minded people. But you're in the wrong day. And you're in the wrong place. It's in that building you need to go and sit in there. And if any of you has a bank account, close the bloody thing. Close it. Don't be bloody well feeding them. Thank you very, very much and thank the organisers of this event. We're very grateful. Thank you. Why? Well, number one, Robert Marin Solicitor, 
refused to award Michael Gavin the grant monies paid down from the Department of Agriculture. Michael is owed well over €116,000 for the nine years minding the farm animals. Number two. Robert Marin solicitor held onto the funds from the land sale for nearly two years and then finally awarded to Michael Gavin and his sister €12,500 plus interest, less than what we were each entitled to. Number three, Willie Penrose, TD, was not paid for his opinion when the estate was charged for same. Number four, Robert Marin's solicitor squandered the estate assets and hired an additional accountant at the cost of €8,751.45. Number five, Marin did not provide a detailed bill of costs for his fee of 40,892.53 cent that he awarded to himself. Yeah. Number six. No bill of costs was provided for TNN McGlynn solicitors at loan paid an amount of 38,941 euro a year prior to closing. And number seven. Tony Henry, Tormy Solicitors at Loan, failed to undertake the instructions given him through John Glynn Solicitors to prevent Mr. Robert Marin, hang on a second, I'll just move it up a bit, closing in isolation to well-found objections. And to read the full story, as I said, it's www.mikegavin83.com. Why? And you were, you were tricked into minding farm animals of your late brother, and I'm sorry yes, about him right. passing, and, right. for the, and, and his estate for the last nine years. Last, last nine years. Yes. So does, we're, we're very agreement with two sisters. That, 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 my, uh, that my half, that, that child told me, that the boss not. Not as much as, and I am not the only one who always me. Ah, so, so this is really the fact that in that nine years, of looking yeah. after your brother's estate, yeah. you, you were supposed to be paid for this. Sorry? You were supposed to be paid remuneration, some money for doing the job that you were yeah. doing all these, this time. Yeah. Well, um, and, and, and along with along, along that, then, uh, is Sean your name? Is? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Yes. Along with that, then, Sean, that, that took away the clients from me. That took the clients. Ah, they took grants away from you and everything. They took, took, took the grants. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so therefore, uh, I took uh, I took the picture note to keep the cash going. Okay. Well, so the first uh, things 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 were like for a, a, a good few years. Indeed. Oh, indeed, uh, indeed. Uh, the first uh, so no joke. Department of Agriculture appointed you as yes. the herd keeper for the animals. And yes. And so, Mister Robert Marin is the that's solicitor. That's right. That's, that's right. Right. And he 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 he, he confiscated the grants uh, 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 and give it, uh, probably he got he, he the money that was in the grants over to them. But I never got a children. Ah, right. So they they were never got a children. They were pocketing the money that you they, should have they, been getting. You're dead right, Sean. Dead right. So, so Mr. Robert Marin refused to award the grant monies paid down from the Department of Agriculture. Oh yes, yes. yes. And they were paid, but who oh, got no, them? They were, they were paid. Mm. No offense. So this is corruption by Mr. Marin's solicitor. Sure, sure, it's not, it's not corruption, Sean. It is corruption. It's dreadful. Yes, it it's, is corruption. It really is horrible. And uh, Mr. Marin also refused to pay your sister Eileen's share of the proceeds from the That's land right. from the land sale, despite yes, the fact yes. that he had the same in yes. his possession for nearly two years. That's right. Okay. And then he went on to. Did he threaten you? Huh? Um, he said, it's, uh, I, I'm reading up a little bit about it, and it says he went on to threaten Michael and Eileen, that's yourself and your sister. And oh, he did. Intended he, to distribute. He did. He did. Well, uh, Mr. Robert Marin's solicitor refused to award Michael Gavin the grant money, which was paid down from the Department of Agriculture. And Michael is owed, and also work done and services rendered. And Michael is owed over 116000 for nine years. Um, minding the farm, minding the farm animals, right? Yes. Robert Mar Marin Solicitor held on to the funds from the land sale for over two years, 
and then um, <clears throat> finally awarded Michael Gavin and he and myself twelve thousand five hundred plus interest less than what we were entitled to. Right. Um, <clears throat> he also um, did not allow myself um, three and a half thousand, which was supposed to be. Um, you know, taken from my amount uh, that, that was due to me because of the, it stated animals which I owned, and, and that is incorrect because I never owned any animals. Uh-huh. Now, there were people that were not paid also. Like, for instance, Willie Pinrose, PD, was not paid for his opinion by, uh, since the, uh, whilst the estate was charged for same. Robert Marn, solicitor, um, squandered the estate assets and hired an additional accountant at a cost of 8,750 euros. Mm. When in fact we had, there was another accountant which was quite capable of doing all this work. But this was an additional accountant that he hired. Now, he also um, did not provide any detailed bill of costs for the fee of, for his own fee of over 40,892 euros, which he awarded to himself. Uh, the bill of costs were, uh, there was no bill of costs provided for TNN McGlynn solicitors as a loan, and um, they were paid an amount of um, 38,000. Over over thirty eight thousand. Wow. Okay. A year, a year a year prior to the closing. Now, um, I just wish to say that um, prior to um, Mr. Marin closing it, uh, we wrote to him and you know regarding to, uh, trying to get our money because we were waiting for so long for this amount of money to get our share of the land sale and, and for my brother to get his amount of rent money plus work done and services rendered. And um, we asked him to go, in, in the letter we wrote to him, we asked him to go to the court and to find out exactly how the estate should be, you know, divided up. Hmm. And he wrote back and threatened us with a letter stating that he was closing us or he 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 uh, threatened us that we should go and get uh, more or less take proceedings against him, or otherwise get a solicitor and take proceeding against him, or otherwise he was closing it at a certain date. Wow! But that's the that that is the story about it. So this is and absolute then, absolute corruption, Eileen. I mean, this is a it go- is yes, it is corruption. And I and, and, I, I, mean, and, and, and another thing I want to tell you uh-huh. is we are having a peaceful pro- uh, protest on this Friday. And outside Mr. Marin's office in Castle Street in Mullingar. Right. And, and it's going to continue. It's going to continue until we get our demands met, which we are due. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yeah. It, it makes perfect sense. And listen, well done for standing up against these corrupt shysters, because all groups and activists to stand in solidarity outside Robert Marin's solicitor's office, Castle Street. Mullingar from 2 p.m. Friday, June 24th, then marching on at 3 p.m. to Peter Penalty Jones State Solicitor's Office, um, where uh, he says, There's strength in numbers, and until we all come together in unity and stand side by side, we will not defeat the corruption in our judicial system. United we stand, divided we fall. Please help us put an end to solicitors abusing the elderly. Show all you want. Protest all you like. Describe for me what, what time the, um, they came at, where you were. They were just uh, uh, about ten past one. It was about ten past one today. Yeah. And where were you when they came? I was from the other place here. I was from the other place here. 
la tv gruppo they didn't knock on the door or anything no, no. so no. what door did they come in Mikey was that, it? One, that, one there. that door there yeah. was it open at the time and they just came in yeah. and what did they say to you when they came in they wanted to know about forms that you'd already filled out, was it? Yeah, yeah. Did they show you forms you'd filled out before? Uh, no, no, they don't know what they think about it. Were they these letters that you'd written? I wish I had this here, my God. He here was there, the letter was doing the lesson. And the other fellow was there. Right, so you say it's standing all the time? I just and Jim Collins standing. And the two men, the other two guards, did they sit down there? One of them was sitting there, and the other was here. Right. Here, two Collins was. Up there, up there, up there, Can you recall what form were they referring to a letter that you had written? A, a letter that you'd sent to Peter Jones or a letter that you'd sent? Yeah, written no names. Right. And do you know what forms they were f they were talking about? Do you know what forms they were talking about? What they were? No, I didn't know what forms. He, he, he had them there. Right. He pushed them there, and when they came out, he says, "Ah, he says we were." He says, "No, no, no." And did they want you to sign a statement or anything? Of course. What did they say? They didn't say nothing for no one. Right. No, no, who, 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 You said to them they were interrogating a man of 84 years of age. Yeah. Did they ask your age when they came in here? No, they didn't. Did they make any small talk with you? No. To no. draw you out? No. Just shorter than where you were trying to know since we sat down the road. Oh, two minutes. And did they... You knew Tim Farrell, he's the local guard here, but the other two men, you'd ne had you seen them ever before? The other two no, guards? I've seen them. Were they in uniform or suits? No, suits. And uh, did they identify? They must introduce themselves. Eh? No, they, 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 they never said their names to you? No, no. They were very official and demanding? No. no. Were they? Oh, they were. That's not right. No. But you didn't sign any form, I or you didn't make, no form and you made no statement. No statement. Right, Mike. Thanks very much. We'll keep we will bring our next peaceful protests to their homes. Saturday, June the 11th at 1 p.m., starting outside Robert Marin's house, Ballyglass, Mullingar, then onto Peter Penalty Point's home, <laughs> Dublin Road, Mullingar in retaliation for special branch Garda intimidation and attempted interrogation of 84-year-old Mike Gavin. If you want to check uh, Michael, uh, sorry, MikeGavin83.com. Old Mike has been abused, really. They call it elderly abuse by a solicitor who has spent or taken or stolen. He has been treated really badly, um, get them feed and all the rest of it. He had to get that out of his pension, etc. And instead, the solicitor 
and I don't know how many other people he's robbing, but he's definitely robbing Mike Gavin. So um, Claire Daly uh, TD is being disallowed to question Tarnister and Minister for Justice re- regarding Roscommon Gardy entering LZ Michael Gavin's home as well. So um, everyone can try and uh, meet at the entrance to Ballyglass Graveyard at 1 p.m. Marin's house is located a few hundred yards out on the Longford Road, fourth house on the left after Finian's College. So there you go. In Mullingar, Mr. Robert Marin took advantage of him, deprived him nine years of grant money that were paid down from the Department of Agriculture. Grants that are meant to feed the animals, not the greedy solicitors. State Solicitor Mr. Peter Jones, Penalty Points Jones as we call him. He's got involved and he now represents Mr. Marin. And he sent a letter to my elderly uncle. And in that letter he states, Mr. Michael Gavin is an elderly man and no less than anybody else is a person of limited means. And if it is necessary to take action, protect the name and reputation of Mr. Marin. We're not doing anything to Mr. Marin's name and reputation. All he wants is what he's rightly entitled to. His grants that were paid down from the Department of Agriculture to mind the farm animals. That Michael Gavin did not receive his grants. No bill of costs for Mr. Marin's fee of over 40,000 was provided. Happened uh, after the state solicitor got involved. We wrote back to the state solicitor demanding seven pieces of evidence and answers to 20 questions for his client, Mr. Robert Marin. Instead of responding to that letter we wrote to him, the special branch came to visit my uncle, Michael Gavin. On the day we were going to protest in Mullingar, they came that day at one o'clock. Back to the house, when Mikey was home alone and they went into the house, they trespassed and they attempted to interrogate my 84-year-old uncle. I don't just say there's an allegation of what? I'm only 84 years of age. And they hopped in and they put me You said to them they were interrogating a man of 84 years of age? Yeah. Did they ask your age when they came in here? No, they didn't. Uh, did they identify? They must introduce themselves. Eh? No, they, they, they never said their names to you? No, no. Former, you didn't make. No and you made no statement? No statement. Right, Mike. Thanks very much. We'll keep he thought that he could get away with it if I was a criminal he should be arrested tonight. He thought that he could get away with it if I was a Hello? Hello, can I speak to Mike Mario please? Yeah, hold on a minute. <clears throat> Hello? Hello Mike. Yes. How are you? Not so bad at all. Who am I speaking to? Mike, John Murphy is my name. But I'm bringing you in connection with you, Mike. Your family and your family are to Mike Gavin. Is that right? Sorry? Your family and your family are to Mike Galvin. Mike Gavin? Yes. Yes, and what should I uh, do? No, uh, no concern to you whatsoever. Well, it, it, it might be a concern of mine, but it's a concern of the whole community and it's a concern of the, of the country nationwide. And I think it's very sad to think that that poor man at this hour of his age, that somebody will go in and be gathered. But look, at you, but look at, all I can say to you now, John, look, you want to go and say to me, Anthony, you, I won't talk to you, you come to me personally and I'll talk to you. I'm not going to talk to no one over the phone. Well, I think it's very, very unfair. If you think yourself in 20 years' time, you'll be as old as that man. And but you think... look at, but you look at, look at, I'm not going to go to you now, Juan. you come and talk to me, and I talk, and I, I, I will enlighten you very quick about all this math and I put you straight hard or quick. So you come to me and I talk to you. No, hey. Hello? Hello? Hello, could I speak to my teacher, please? No, he's not going to talk anymore. He's not going to talk anymore. Are you his nephew? If you want, if you want to talk, come to the house here. And who who give you our number? Who give? Your number is all over the internet today. Your number is gone as far as America today. And I tell you this much, if I were you, I'd be very, very careful in your house. Because Why? Because you're a natural disgrace. 
Do you realize that there's a poor old man down the road for you and the abuse that you, you give him and the mental health that you give him, you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself. Excuse me for a minute now. We never got that that man over there. Yeah, inside and he'd found him. The man that found him, the man found out his life. And if you've any bit of respect and even bit of cough on you, get out of that farm. And who are you, Wallace? I'm a concerned citizen. And I'm a person that, that likes to see fairness. Yeah, and your uncle is going down to Mass and he's inside in the altar and hugging the altar rails and he's going out committing sin every day of the week and destroying a poor who, old man's who, life. Excuse me, who's my uncle? Michael. Yes, right. He's who an absolute he, disgrace. He should be absolutely ashamed who, of himself. Listen, listen for a second. Who said he's going down to Mass every morning? He doesn't go to Mass. He goes to Mass on a Sunday. He he's does a, not. He's an absolute disgrace. He does not. He's, he should be ashamed. Well, he have every reason not to go into the house of God because of the way the man carries on every day of the week and destroying a poor old man's life and putting a poor old man under this torture every day of the week and don't look at him going look at the cattle in the farm. If I was you now, I'd mind your own business. Don't be minding now. Hold on a while now. Kitty. Yeah, but don't be minding now. Hold on now, Kitty. Mind Hold on now, Kitty. Don't, don't, don't let you be giving me any of that shit because when we'll be calling to your house, you'll be quite by. Stay out oh, of that farm. Stay off of to, that farm. Excuse me, excuse me. When are you going to call? When are I going to call? Don't worry, we'll call. And stay off of that farm. Stay off of the farm. I'm going, bye. Hello. Um, hello. Um, yes, I was on the internet earlier today, and um, I was... Um, I was just taken back. Um, I was watching a video there on the internet. Um, uh, I'm ringing from the States, and I actually was astonished. I never thought this thing happened in Ireland. You know, that you hear the King Mira Falsha. But I, I don't know. I, you know, that, that, that's just terrible. How do you do that to your neighbors? In America, they don't do that type of thing. That's terrible. Hello? No, who am I talking about? Uh, you're talking to, I, I seen, I was watching the, I was on the internet, and I seen the, the interview about what you're doing to that, that poor, poor farmer. That's terrible. How do you go to bed at night? How do you sleep? That's absolutely terrible. Hello? Hello? Yeah, well, I, I, I don't understand what... You know, people don't do those type of things. Well, you don't give hit, you don't give everything to them that you don't give a hit. Excuse me? You don't and what's on that you don't give everything to a hit is, is two sides to that story you want to the other side of it. No, but there's a you know that you That man doesn't own that land here, that man's south. He doesn't own the land. No, he's a south. Excuse me? He sold that land three years ago. He so no, not by according to the internet, he didn't sell nothing. Oh, there's a master in I don't know one of the details, but he, he, he sold it to the sister three years ago. She lives in America. He farmed it. He farmed it. He farmed the land. Uh, he's a family. He's a family this five years. He farmed it, no, but, but what I've read up and I'm following, I'm actually following this in the internet. It's actually very, a lot of people are watching it in the States and it, it's just, we're, we're shocked that that type of thing goes on in, in Ireland. I really, I just couldn't believe it. You know, and it, you know, I mean, people don't genuinely, you, 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 you hope that, I mean, Trump, you know what, I think Trump, I need to send Trump over there. He'd sort out people. Yeah, you always have to do it now, and so I better look to him. No, but you know, do you do you go to, when you go to bed at night, do you feel guilty? I'm not a big guilty also. But you why why would you be giving money to the land that that and and you know that poor man there all his life? That's terrible. I sure in the hundred acres of land there, there's no one, there's no one using it. But then, you see, if you're renting the land off of that, if you're renting the land that you're feeding into this, it, 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 it's something that, that shouldn't, it, 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 this shouldn't be happening. Oh, you said you can help your own thing, I mean, help me on, and leave it at that. No, but you know, it, 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 it,
Hello? Hello? Hello, I was going to speak to Robert Marin, please. Speaking. Robert, Robert, we're, we're an amateur production company, we're based here in Cork, and we're doing documentaries on farm inheritance and farm disputes. No, I was wondering as your name has come up as uh, your um, professional dealing with a lot of these disputes, would you like to, to be involved in the documentary? You're doing a documentary on what? On farm inheritance and farm disputes. No, thank you. Uh, you you're the, your name comes up a lot on the internet and um, you're involved in a, in a big case, a high profile case up in, in Roscommon. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I'm not involved in it, but yes, I know what you mean. But no, thank you. No, not interested. Uh, no, it, it might be good for your business because there's a lot of people interested in these um, farm disputes and we're just trying to, it's an ever-increasing problem in rural Ireland. And we'd yeah. like to, to try and promote it and try to help people in trouble and things like that. And so, you know. No, no, not for me, thanks. You're sure? All right. Right, my question.
objections which he was advised they should have done and gone back to the courts. They closed in isolation of his objections and distributed the assets of the estates. He was also summoned to the High Court some years ago by a firm of solicitors from Athlone. They got a special summons in an attempt to sell the roof out over his head. That home was left to Michael Gavin with a right to live there for the rest of his days. Solicitors knew that, and the beneficiaries of the estate knew that, but they still brought him to the High Court in Dublin. Michael, an elderly man now 83 years of age, can get no support from the local politicians. One local politician has said to Michael, Why don't you come to my clinic? But Michael feels it's not him that needs the treatment, it's the solicitors that have done this to him. And they are the ones that need to go to the clinic and get treated for their greed. Here, here. Not Michael Gavin. Here, here. Like I said, he's 83 years of old age. He was deprived of nine years looking after animals. For no good reason, no good excuse was given. He's asked numerous times for a bill of cost, which he feels he's entitled to. But no bill of cost was provided. He was promised he'd get a bill of cost back in October last year. A detailed bill of costs, and I have it in writing, but they never furnished that detailed bill of costs. And we believe, we believe the devil is in the detail, and that's why they won't give him a bill of costs. They charged one firm of solicitors here from Mullingar, charged him over 40,000 euros, but provided no costs. One of your local TDs here gave an opinion he was an agricultural advisor and he gave an opinion on how the estate, I presume, should be distributed. I don't know what his opinion was, but we were charged for his opinion. There was no invoice provided. And later on, we were told by an activist here in Mullingar, and I have it in writing, I have the conversation recorded. We were told that that TD denied he ever received the money. So who's got the money? Michael Gavin's estate, Pat, his late brother, Pat Gavin's estate was charged, but yet no money was received by that politician. Somebody's lying there and it's not Michael Gavin. Michael Gavin never, never told a lie in his life. He worked hard all his life. And it's not right for him to be treated like this. This matter has been handed over to Angarda Shikana and they are investigating the matter of these solicitors at the moment and we hope they are able to find fault in it. It's not the way people should treat an elderly man. It's not right. 
Outside the Department of Agriculture Government Buildings, Abbey Leaks Road, Port Leash, County Leash, this Friday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. The Department of Agriculture are facilitating financial elder abuse by handing over the grants to the solicitor dealing with the estate. The department's policy is flawed and needs to be changed. The purpose of the Department of Agriculture grants is to feed the farm animals, not the greedy solicitors.